Hello and welcome to the free online version of MP3 True Edit. We're excited to introduce this new app to you and hope you'll benefit from it greatly. First of all, to launch MP3 True Edit you can go to our website, ithinkapps.com. There you will see the launch MP3 True Edit button, which you can click to launch this free app in its own pop-up window. No installation is necessary, it just runs in the browser but all your audio files are stored locally, so they are not uploaded into the cloud somewhere, giving you complete control of all your data. After launching you will need to read and accept the end user license agreement and then you optionally have a chance to be guided through using MP3 True Edit using the help guide. Now, to start off I'm going to show you how to open or import your audio into the online version of MP3 True Edit. So go to the top right three dots and select the text menu option, Import, Browser Import Open. Then I'm going to click an audio file, so it loads it into the browser and you can see a representation of the volume levels of the imported audio file. Now you can see there are two parts to the audio display. We have a map view of the entire audio file on the bottom screen and a view of a zoomed in section of audio in the top screen. You can jump to any part of the file by clicking anywhere on the bottom map view, which also shows a highlighted area to match with the top zoomed in view. You can also scroll the top zoomed in view by dragging with the mouse on the timeline or any part of the audio volume display bars. So, I'm going to start off by playing some audio. There you go. I can now drag the top display to the beginning again. Or I can display the navigation pop-up which you can use to rewind to the beginning or other parts of the audio file. So I've played the start of the audio but maybe you want to make some edits. Maybe you want to remove the sound of the C at the start of the audio. This can be done easily by selecting the audio you want to edit. First scroll to the beginning of the edit section and press the set start command for the audio you want to select. Then scroll to the end of the audio you want to select and press the set end command. And that is how you select audio in MP3 True Edit. Then click on the bottom right plus button to launch the edit commands icon menu. Now I'm going to select the delete command to delete the audio I have just selected. And have another listen. So you can hear the C sound has been removed. But maybe we now want to fade in the new start of the audio. So we can select some audio again by setting the start of the selection, scrolling, and setting the end of the selection again. Now we can fade in using the plus button followed by the fade in icon menu command, and also by repeating the last command next to the plus button, you can fade in a bit more each time you repeat the command. Go to the beginning and play again. So you can see we have successfully trimmed the start and faded in again. Right, and that is our first edit done using the free online audio editor MP3 True Edit. As promised, I am now going to show you how to join audio. This is done by simply appending audio to an existing audio file. I can keep the existing edits and just append a new file using the top right three dots then selecting, import, followed by the browser import append command. You will need to select the same file type with the same recording settings. This appends the new file to the end of your current editing session. We can have a quick listen. You can see it has joined the two files together in the editor. So maybe you want to do some edits on this join as well. To help see more context I can zoom out a bit to see a bit more. Maybe you want to remove this silence in between. I can zoom in for finer selecting control also. While we are doing this there is an interesting navigate control option. This allows you to jump to the next or previous edit point so we can select the exact location of a join or edit. Select the start. Select the end. Delete. Scroll a bit more. Select the end. Fade in. Repeat the fade in a few times. So this way we can fade in the start of the appended audio. So, listen again. So that is how you seamlessly join two audio files. The audio can then be exported through the browser to generate the joined audio file. And I will show you how to do that in the next section of this tutorial. Now I'm going to show you how to trim some audio. I have previously reopened the first audio file for this demonstration and will show you how you can trim the start and end of an audio file. First of all you can select the audio we want to keep. So we can select something here. To here. And the simplest way to trim audio is to use the crop command which is this one here. And we can listen again. 
Now we have cropped that audio we may also want to normalize it. We can select all the audio. Then use the normalize command. Accept the default, which will increase the volume to the maximum amount without distorting it. If we rewind we can listen again. Now all we have to do is export all, and we will get this as a new audio file. Export all as. And we have our exported, trimmed, audio file. As an alternative I can undo what I have just done and show you another way. Instead of cropping we can use the other command, which is the export selection as, command, to create a new file using the currently selected audio only. You can also normalize this selection before you export as well. You can just select the audio you want to use as a new file and use the export, export selection as, command. And that's how you trim audio. We can now look into how we split audio. And you may have guessed how to do this already. To show you this, I'm going to close down this demo audio file and reopen a fresh unedited copy. So if we want to split this into two for example, we can select the middle part as the end of our selection. Go to the beginning. Select the start. Then the top right three dots menu, followed by export selection as. So that has created the first half of the split. And then we can select the second half of the split. We can now use the navigate pop-up to go to the end of the selection we just did. Then set the selection start. Forward to the end. Select the section end. Now we can, export selection as. Again. And now we have split the original audio file into two tracks. Also, when exporting from MP3 True Edit, there is no recompressing or quality loss involved. So that is how you split audio. At this point we would like to tell you about the native versions of MP3 True Edit which have an extra set of commands for splitting audio. This is done by creating and tagging tracks. The native versions also run directly on your operating system, so they are a bit faster and smoother, and also allow you to save all your edits as projects to come back to later. These native desktop and mobile apps are available on the Apple, Microsoft and Google Play stores with links to them on our ithinkapps.com website. So, we hope you have realized that the free online version of MP3 True Edit can edit your MP3 and AAC audio files using these simple commands, anywhere in a single file or joined files. And most importantly of all, this is done with absolutely no loss in quality. In our next video, we are going to show you how to do some more advanced audio edits. And also show you some more of the useful features that MP3 True Edit has. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notification icon to be told of all our new video releases. That's all for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.